Hi guys. This is D. Igorotek. Today, I will show you how to install and how to use WhatsApp on your PC or laptop, or even tablet or iPad. Also, what's the difference between WhatsApp web and WhatsApp application? Here are some of the advantages of using WhatsApp on your computer. First of all, it's more faster to type on your computer's keyboard most especially if you are doing multitasking. Sending files is more convenient. Copying and pasting of links and text is more faster. Use comfortably while charging your phone and to save battery of your mobile. Lastly, you don't have to open your mobile every time. Let's begin. First is I will show you how to use WhatsApp web. Open your web browser. Any browser will work. Go to web.whatsapp.com. A guide will also be listed here. First is open WhatsApp on your phone. Tap menu or settings and select link devices. Point your phone to this screen to capture the code. By the way, this code will automatically change every after 20 seconds. Now, ready your phone. Open the WhatsApp application. At the top, click on the menu or settings. Select link devices. Click link a device. You need to enter your password or fingerprint for verification. Click OK to proceed. To log into WhatsApp web, allow WhatsApp access to your camera so you can scan the QR code. Click continue. You must allow WhatsApp to take picture and record video. Point your phone to this screen to capture the code. We are now connected to WhatsApp web. From your phone, under device status. It shows the Google Chrome in which we are currently connected. We used Chromium browser for the web WhatsApp but it recognized it as Google Chrome. You can click on the contact to view the conversation. Before we check the features, we will first install the WhatsApp application. After that, we can check the features and also the comparison. Open a new tab. Go to whatsapp.com. You can either go to download tab or you can choose the device where you want to install the application which in our case is a Windows PC. Click on it. Scroll down. We have the option for Windows 8 and higher 64-bit. Also the version for 32-bit version. Since I'm using 64-bit then I will choose the 64-bit version. Well, you can install 32-bit version on 64-bit operating system but you cannot install 64-bit version on 32-bit operating system. Wait for it to download the executable file. Let's now check the downloaded file. Double click on it to install. Notice the shortcut icon automatically created on desktop. Now, do the same process again. Open WhatsApp on your phone. At the top, click on the menu or settings. Choose link devices. Click on link a device. Enter your password or fingerprint. Point your phone to this screen to capture the code. We are now connected to WhatsApp application. If you notice the device status, it became two. The Google Chrome is for the WhatsApp web and the Windows is the WhatsApp application. Now, let's take a look at the features but before that, Notice that we are allowed to log in WhatsApp on computer simultaneously on the same network. This is one of the new features of WhatsApp. For the older versions, you can only connect to one WhatsApp. Next is we will check the features and also we will do the comparison. Left side is the WhatsApp web and right side is the WhatsApp application. The profile icons are the same. Also the status, both present and same icon. New conversation also present but different icons. Menu or setting are the same. Now, this is the big difference. For WhatsApp web, there's no option for voice call or video call. Unlike WhatsApp application, you have the option to video call or voice call. Search option are both present. The conversation menu just have a minor difference. You can use the search option to search for conversation content. Example is we can search for the word day. All of the content with the word day will appear. You can do this on the web application as well. We also have the chat menu. We have some several options to choose too. 
Next is the new amazing feature of WhatsApp, the offline method. Let's try to disconnect my phone from the internet. You can see my Wi-Fi and data are both disabled. Notice that we are still connected to the WhatsApp application even though the phone is already offline. This is really amazing. Now, let's try to send a message. From the computer WhatsApp application, we can still send a message. Let's try it from the phone. We can double check to verify if the Wi-Fi and data is still disabled which it is. If we check the conversation, well of course we cannot see the test message because the phone is offline. We can still try to send a message from the phone. Obviously it will not send because the phone is offline. Next is I will test to reply the message to verify if it can receive a message. You can see it worked. The computer WhatsApp is still up and running even though the phone is offline. Let's check the WhatsApp web. Notice it's also up and synchronized. Let's test to send a message. Success. WhatsApp application and WhatsApp web can still be used even though the phone is already offline. To create a new chat, simply click on new chat. You can search for the contact. By the way, you cannot send a message to a new contact if the number is not on your contact list so you need to register it first before you can send a message. You can now type and hit enter to send the message. Same goes with the WhatsApp application. Click on the plus sign to add a new chat. Search for the contact. Again, if the person is not on your contact list then you cannot send a message unless registered. Type a message then hit enter to send. To make a call, choose the contact you want to call. For voice call, click on the call icon. You can see the status which is ringing. If the person answers your call then you can see the sound wave. To end a call, simply click on the red call icon. For video call, click on the video icon. You can see the status below the contact. You have the option to mute your microphone. To end the call, simply click on the red telephone icon. If you expand the down arrow or the conversation settings, we have some few options to choose too. You can pin chat if you want to permanently pin this contact at the top. You can also archive chat. Delete chat. Mute notification for this chat. You can mute it for 8 hours, 1 week or always. Choose based on your preference then click mute notification. You can see this chat is already muted. To unmute this chat, click on the down arrow or the chat settings again then click unmute chat. You can also delete this chat. Click continue to delete. Lastly, to log out WhatsApp. Click on the menu or settings. Choose and click log out. Click log out to confirm. It will go back to the home screen. We can also log out linked device from the phone. Open WhatsApp on your phone. Go to menu or settings. Click on linked devices. Notice the Google Chrome status is log out is pending. This is the WhatsApp web we just log out. This will be gone after few minutes. Now it's gone. Now you can only see the Windows which is the WhatsApp application. To log out from your phone, simply tap on it. Choose and tap log out. The WhatsApp application will go back to the login screen. Link a device is now empty since we log out all linked devices. Well, that's all for today's demonstration and I really hope you like this video. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you and see you in the next video.